Hi, Jill. How are you? Greetings, from, greetings from Toronto. How are you? Hi, Bonnie. I'm good. Good to see you again. Hope how you are I, you know? How are things going? I mean, very exciting. Season two is well on its way, and it starts like whoa. You know, no questions asked here. We're we're getting into this rescue mission. Um, how excited, Jill, were you to dive back in for season two? I mean, look, I held my breath all through season one, just hoping that it never ends ever because it, I, not only just because of me, I mean, yes, it's great for my career, but I think I'm, I'm a little past that as a, as a woman, as a person, I, as an actress, like, I think it's great to work. Um, but this project is so, so, so far beyond yeah. me. It's, it's about um portrayal of women that i have the utmost respect for about also men that i have the utmost respect for um it's it's my love letter to those men and women in the military um and it was the only way that i kind of knew how to do that in my own world you know if if i could go back in time i would serve um yeah. but i can't do that. so it, it it's just been the honor of my life to be able to hopefully um give them something in which they can see my heart you know well and, that is, they, and, and by the way, that is all because of taylor sheridan and his yeah. and his beautiful words and the way he writes these characters it's just been an honor to work for him right but clearly it is connecting not just with audiences people who are not in the military it is connecting with women who do this for a living and, you know, tell me about that, because when you connect with these women and sit down with them and get their feedback, my God, Jill, come on, like highlight of your career, seriously. Yeah, it, it was. I actually just got to, I, I chose to spend the pr premiere with a group of women uh, from an organization called All True. And uh, these are special ops females. And yeah. they're just, they're the, they're the cream of the crop. They're awesome. They're great human beings um but also i wanted to watch it with them because i wanted to get their opinions and i wanted to get their feedback and and also i wanted to look them in the eye and say thank you for mm. your service and um i was even talking to them and i'm like oh my gosh here it comes like the tears i'm like bobby <laughs> doesn't cry but i you know it, it, i'm not starstruck very often but yeah. with those women i'm starstruck yeah 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 i can imagine um you know it's unbelievable, this cast. You know, as I was watching, I watched all season one, then I'm watching part of season two, and I'm like, this is freaking unreal, this cast, you know? And clearly, between over the last year or so, you guys have become, I would think, a real family, you know? You have yeah. to, this is a special series. I think it's more than other things that I've seen or other actors I've talked to and I don't know, something real special about this. Can you talk yeah. about that bond? You know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I've I've obviously, um, I, I've been lucky enough to be on um, shows in my life and um, and to work with different cast. And this one is special. Uh, and, and I think mainly because we all know the story that we're telling is so very important mm. and we all care about it. We all respect these men and women and then I don't know, Taylor has this great ability to pull together people that, I don't know, of course that he believes are, are right for the role, but also like are, like we just gel as a cast. It was never forced. It was like, we hang out on the weekends. We call each other all the time. If we have time off, it's like, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna go by the pool? Or do you wanna go do this? Or do you wanna, yeah. like, it is one of those things where these people are, are you know, we're friends. And um, and I think we have that support for each other and it just shows it on screen or I hope it does because what you're seeing is is real relationships and and I, I love these people. I mean, they're we're all so very different, but we just yeah. work. It, it just yeah. works. Yeah. And I mean, Zoe, what you know, what she continues to do. And then I just recently saw Amelia Perez and I was like, she sings, she dances like what can this woman not do? She is yeah. un freaking believable. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I mean, I have all not respect for I her. Heard, I heard that it was just incredible. I'm 
I'm so excited to see that. Um, and I know that Zoe had a little bit of apprehension going into the role of Joe because she doesn't know much about the world, right? Yeah. And it is such a culture and it's such, but boy, holy cow, does she, I think this season more than anything, she is, she's just, I keep saying she's dialed in, but she is, she's hitting yeah. every single thing. And I have to say, I'm most connected to the character of Joe. Like I, I, I just can relate to that character so much. And so for, for me, when I watch her play Joe, I'm just like, oh, there's so yeah. many times where I'm just like, I get up and I'm like, yes, like she just <laughs> nails it. And I've told her, and I'm saying it with you, if she does not win an Emmy for this show, oh, something is, is right. I mean, uh, yeah, I know. I, very I, wrong. Hear, yeah. I don't know what else she can do. Like she's, yeah. she's just, yeah, and, and, you know, I think the, the women in the military, um, and, CIA. I mean, she was a, a lioness herself, I would think. Um, the thing is, Taylor really never tells us our backstory. He 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 just is like, don't worry about it. Just just say the lines. I'm like, gosh, okay, but was was I in the army? Was I a Marine? Was I like, you know, but he's yeah. like, he, he's so interesting. He was my old acting coach. And so I know, he is yeah. A style of and it works. It works because you don't cloud your mind with a lot of stuff. You just you just play the scene for what it is. Yeah. And oh, yeah. That's a that's a way to go about it. And he's brilliant too at acting. So Okay. Well, now that you brought that up. Okay. So he because he doesn't do a lot on camera. You know, the guy's got so much going on and he's such a freaking genius. When I saw him in that first episode, I was like, yes. I mean, come on. Okay, first of all, he was like buff beyond. Like, that's one thing. But to what you know. It has to be something very special to bring him on screen. What was that discussion like? I mean, you are also executive producer of this show. So where did that decision come yeah. from that he went, I am going to do this role? It Well, he he called me and he was like, did you read, have you read it? And I was like, I, you know, I got it. He was like, call me after you read it. So um, I read it and he was like, so Cody. And I was like, yeah. He was like, I think I'm going to come in, play that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, in all of your spare time, like, how are you going to, you, you know, you're writing all of these, I knew what all he was doing. Right. And I think <clears throat> Taylor has such a, um, a love for um, our military. And, and I believe it's an honor for him to play one of them. And by the way, does it, I mean, he hangs out with so many guys in the military and like, it, it just, he, he's, he could have been yeah. that character very easily. So um, it was an honor for us to know that he wanted to come and, and play on this show in particular. Right. Um, and then for me, I was scared to death because I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to have a scene with you and I haven't like, just don't mess it up. You know, I was season one with Bobby. Um, my whole goal was just to not be noticed. Oh, just, come on. I was so afraid. I was scared to death. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, with Nicole Kidman, I remember I had a scene with her and she just would look, you know, Caitlin, Nicole Kidman is, is delightful. Yeah. She is, uh, she is so kind. Caitlin is a whole different thing. Exactly. And Nicole's husband, and she comes in as Caitlin. And I remember when she was looking right at me, I was just like, you gotta be Bobby. Like Bobby would not be afraid. You gotta be. So it's um so it's, Taylor's the same thing like being in a scene with him I'm just like oh gosh just don't mess it up like just say your lines just don't you know because he's also in a, in an in a way my coach still. right so one of the intense proud and you, yeah yeah it, but it you know what it, it's I would do it ten times over if he would oh. agree I I told him I was like just could you just stay in the show forever like just because he's so good you he know? is good he adds yeah. something to it um and i think um he just fits in with the crew yeah. you know well, clearly yeah yeah okay jill just to wrap it up i mean look we love you on this show we love everything you do but you got so many friends for uh, fans especially here in canada of course from the hallmark film so do we have anything coming up on that side of your life I have actually, I have a Great American Family movie coming out, um, uh, coming out, no, oh gosh, December. December, around okay. 12, we'll, we'll look it up. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, no. Um, um, so Christmas Under the Northern Lights with Jesse Hutch. Uh, yeah. It's a great one. I'm actually throwing a, Chris, a whole Christmas event um, at the farm in which will be televised for Great American Family. It's, it, uh, it's something like Christmas on the Farm with Jill Wagner and family. Um, nice. So oh, I'm going to nice. let everybody into my farm. I'm going to show you guys how I do Christmas. And then after that, I'm actually throwing uh, merry movie nights on the farm where I'm showing the movie to people on the farm. I'm inviting you. There's going to be Santa Claus. There's going to be hot cocoa. Uh, it's a ticketed event that will come out on November 1st. I'm going to announce it. So I'm going to tell you first. Well, there you go. We got the scoop. We got the scoop. You know what, Jill? It's always such a pleasure to talk to you. Love it. Best of luck with this. Let's keep our fingers Thank crossed you. for season three. This show is just off the charts. It's so, so good. And you're always wonderful to talk to. So thank you so much for your Thank time you so today. Okay, bye, Jill. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.